the audacity of Rob Palenka to call out Golden State. LeBron's leaving and you guys haven't been popping corks? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. He's been your only roadblock. The Dallas Cowboys have the 31st ranked skill position players in all the NFL. the audacity of Rob Palenka to call out Golden State. I just fell out of my chair last night. How time. did he call him out? Well, he's saying, this is our, we're, we're going to take you down. That's how it's going to come, come across to the Golden State Warriors. No, it's not. Who needed some bulletin board material this offseason to motivate them to win yet another championship after they added DeMarcus Cousins. So they now have five all-stars and new motivation because you know and I know that Steph Curry will bring up these quotes all next year. We've seen someone beat them a game, but in order to take them down once playoffs come along, you have to beat them four times over two weeks hmm. with arguably the second and the fifth best players in the NBA in their prime. Clay is a legit number two on any other team, hmm. and Draymond is Draymond. Draymond does a little bit of everything. I like the way they're assembling this team hmm. to try to limit the points because if hmm. they start getting 115, 120, Bye-bye. Mm. You're not mm. beating Golden State. In today's NBA, you still need some level right. of three-point shooting. And I don't know that the Lakers will have that. And I think another challenge is that this is a strategy that might be built for Golden State, but you might have trouble getting past some of the other teams yeah. if you don't have the shooting or the style to beat them. Now, look, I think it's a good plan. Will it work against Golden State? No. If I'm building a team, what I really want is athletic wings who can score. I, and so LeBron and Kawhi uh, check both those boxes. When I look at the Lakers, my concern for them right now is they're saying we're trying to build a tough defensive team. I don't know how good defensively Rajon Rondo is. I know Contavious Caldwell Pope's not great defensively. There's a difference between being young or long and athletic and being a great defensive player. You're not going to be able to get enough, enough young athletic shooters because that's what the problem is. If you try to put shooters on the court, right now the shooters in the NBA, they're typically older guys, can only play 20 to 25 minutes, and when they go down to the other part of the court, they are a liability. And we forget, or we don't talk about it enough, we can't forget Golden State, they're an outstanding defensive team. You're telling me LeBron's leaving and you guys haven't been popping corks? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. He's been your only roadblock. You're never worried about John Wall and Giannis. Miami Heat, Goran Dragic. Danny, stop. LeBron leaving gets you to 65 wins, multiple sweeps in the East, home court advantage in the finals, and I believe you'll cap it in June with a title. Somewhere, Steve Kerr is really happy. He's giggling happy right now because those two gentlemen provided his Golden State Warriors with all the motivation they're going to need as they pursue another dynastic championship next year, and you do need new motivation because he can tell his team, now the Lakers are preparing to dethrone us next year with this new defensive toughness of theirs, and Danny Ainge in Boston is preparing to take on LeBron. He dismissed Golden State. He said, you still have to play LeBron. I know the message that he's trying to send. We're not gonna overlook anybody. Anybody can beat us, but Danny Ainge is like, we going, they can't nobody beat us. We're too talented, because think about it. They had a chance to trade for Kawhi, and he basically said, Tatum, Brown, Kyrie, Gordon, Hayward, Al Horford off the table. So he's telling you, we good enough right now to get out of the East. I don't need to add Kawhi. I don't need to give up no pieces. I'm good enough right now to get out of the East. What Danny Ainge is saying, look, whether LeBron was in the East or not, our goals remain the same. Get to the NBA Finals and win a championship. Right. And our confidence, our belief remains the same. That is the mentality that enabled them to take LeBron to seven games without their two best players, with a 19 and 20 year old leading the way. So I love that from Danny Ainge. We talk about how LeBron has just had the Raptors number, right? Since in the last eight years, he's beat them, knocked them out of the playoffs three times. He's knocked Danny Ainge's teams out of the playoffs five times. 
it's LeBron and his run in the heat that made Danny Ainge decide to yeah. tear it all down. He had to. He yes. had to. Like, it is, LeBron has been, there's no team that LeBron has knocked out in the playoffs more in these last eight years than the Boston Celtics. The Dallas Cowboys have the 31st ranked skill position players in all the NFL. They have no number one. They have a bunch of twos and fews. Literally twos and figuratively. You know what I mean by that, Skip Bayless. So y'all in trouble, and I'm going to win my due because you're not going to no playoffs. How can you justify ranking this skill group 31st when it has the best running back in football. All he did was, as a rookie, he led the league in rushing, and all he did as a second-year player was average the most yards rushing in the National Football League by far. He averaged almost 100 yards rushing in 10 games last year, and Todd Gurley averaged second most 87 yards a game. This is dominating running back, and if you have that guy on your side, it's over. They're at least in that 15-16. They're at least middle of the pack. Of course, arsenals for offenses are running backs and wide receivers. Oh, wait, they don't matter. The current NFL dynasty is New England. They've never had a superstar running back. They had one superstar receiver, Randy Moss. It's the year they didn't win. They have won five Super Bowls, been to eight overwhelmingly, without star running backs, mostly journeymen, Rex Burkhead kind of guys, and wide receivers like Chris Hogan, who nobody heard of until he was Chris Hogan of the Patriots. They ain't got a whole bunch of ballers. They ain't got no guys got, hey man, you know, I got 200 yard games, I got a couple touchdowns, no. Alan Hearns, I got 1,000 yard season, and he had that a couple years ago. He's coming off a knee injury in Jacksonville where they gave up on him. I believe he's their best receiver. If you are going to get to high levels in the playoffs with weapons like this, it's usually because you have an elite defense. We're talking about the Cowboys having a pretty good defense if it works out.